Hi and welcome to another Node-RED video. In this video I want to talk about uh, deploying flows and I want to take you through the various options that you can see here, the full deploy, the modified flows, the modified nodes and the restart flows. And in particular I want to take look at the inject nodes like you see here. And these inject nodes are used typically to initialize a flow, to initialize the initial state of a flow. And I want to look at when they fire and when they don't fire when you actually deploy uh, a flow. And I also want to look at what happens to the various variables, the contacts variables, the flow variables and the global variables when you do a full deploy and when you do a modified flows deploy etc. Okay and to do that I've got a very simple setup here and I'll just show you here I've got uh, three flows, flow one, flow two, and flow three. Flow, flow four I'm not using for this demo. And flow three is global, so this one is actually using global variables. Flow two is using flow variables, and flow one is using context variables. And they've all got the same function here. So this is the function. And all three functions are similar except uh, they use different variables. This one uses, uses the context variable. And this here is what I prefer. You often see this syntax here. Now, that doesn't work under certain circumstances, and so I, I don't use that anymore. I use this syntax here, which is basically you look at the count variable. If it's undefined, you set it. So at the very initial stage of the flow, the count variable will be undefined, and then you set it to zero. And I've altered that. Let's put it back to what it was before, count plus equals one. And then I set the message.payload equal to the message.payload plus the count, and the message.payload is basically text. It's called, uh, I think this is test, but it depends on the, on the flow. And then we set the context variable back again and we just return the message. And the return message goes into the debug node here. And I've configured this debug node so we can see the status. And that means I don't have to go into the debug screen over here to look at the status. I can see it directly here. And I've done this on all three flows. Now the inject node, which is what we want to look at, what happens when you deploy a flow or deploy a node, what happens with the inject node. Now this one here is set to inject once at the start and this is typical for a, an inject node that's going to initialize a flow and it's going to, after a tenth of a second, it's going to fire and we're going to look at, at the circumstances when it fires and when it doesn't fire. Now, flow 2 is very similar, except flow 2, this is going to inject at the start, and it's also going to inject every 5 seconds. And the reason I've done this is that I, I want to demonstrate that you can actually deploy flows. I can deploy flow 1 without affecting flow 2, etc. But it all depends on how I deploy it. And I say flow 3 is the same as flow 1 and I'm just injecting once at the start. But it's using a global variable as opposed to a flow variable or context variable. You can see the state here is set to global 1. If I want to fire this, once the flow is running, I have to click on the inject to inject it. You can see here it's gone to global 2. OK, now a quick reminder, and this is actually the reason I decided to put together this video, is very often you just hit the deploy button and you don't take any notice of what state it's in. Now it remembers the last deploy. So depending on what you chose when you did a deploy, whether you did a full or modified or modified nodes, uh, that's what you'll get if you just click this button. So it's very good practice not to just click the button, is to actually go and select what kind of deploy you actually want. Uh, before you actually click that button. Now if you're not actually seeing all these four options in the deploy, uh, 
uh, it's because you're using an older version that I'm using here. I'm using version 0 0.2 and on previous versions you only had three options. You didn't have the restart flows option. Uh, to check your version you just click on here and scroll down to the bottom you can see I'm on 0 0.2. Okay let's go back to flow 1. Now a quick note on what constitutes a change. Now you only get this going to bold red uh, when you make a change on the flow or on, on the node. So if I edit this flow here or edit this node sorry should I say then the deploy icon here or deploy button here should go to red and once I've deployed it it goes back to black so let's deploy it and you can see it's gone back to black now quite often what people do to get the deploy button back again so you can deploy it is just to drag something around the screen and you can see here it goes red again now this is actually uh, is naturally modified. It's modified the position on the screen, but it hasn't modified any of the nodes. And let's just demonstrate that now. Remember, this node here is going to fire when we uh, restart the flow. So it only fires at the beginning here. Fires after a tenth of a second. And when it fires, it should increment the counter in this function node, and we should see the counter go up here. And remember this function node on flow one is using a context variable and we want to have a look at what happens with context variables when we restart flows or redeploy flows. So here we go we drag it we get a deploy option. Okay so let's select what kind of deploy we want to do we're going to do a modified nodes to start with and we deploy it and you can see nothing appears to happen. The inject node has been fired because we're still on test 5. And let's do it again. And this time we go for modified flows and deploy it. And again, nothing appears to have happened because I say the flow hasn't been modified. Now let's do it again, but this time we're going to, to make a change and we'll just change this to increment to by 2. Now we have modified the node and if we do a deploy you can see again nothing appears to have happened. The inject node hasn't been fired because we've actually modified this node, the function node. We haven't modified the inject node. If I'd have modified the inject node then it would have fired but we modified the function node so let's modify the function node again and we put it back to 1 and this time I'm going to do a modified flows and a deploy now this flow has changed so we should expect to see something so if I click on deploy you can see here now it has changed and what's interesting to note is that when I when I use the modified flows it actually reset the context variable so you can see it's gone back here to 1. Now let me inject a few more so we're back up to 3 here and this time I'm going to do a full deploy so I select full deploy here. Now as I say I haven't really modified any of the nodes but a full deploy will work anyway and again it's reset the context variable back to zero so we can see there's a one there and it fired the inject node so a modified flows and a full deploy will fire the inject node and they will also reset the context variable so they will reset them back to zero and the last one is the restart flows and the restart flows is very similar to the full full deploy and let me get them back up to three and this time we do a restart flows and you can see it's back to one there. 
Just to recap, a full deploy, a restart flows and a modified flows deploy will all fire the eject node on the flow and they'll all reset the context variables back to wherever they were at the beginning. Uh, a modified nodes deploy will only fire the inject node if the inject node itself was changed. If some other nodes was changed, then it won't, won't fire the, the inject node. It has no effect on the context variables. So what about flow variables and global variables? What effect does a deploy have on, on those? Well, you can see here on flow two, this function node here is dealing with uh, a flow variable, again called count, and we're just incrementing it. And you can see the results here. This is injecting every 20 seconds, and you should see every 20 seconds you should see this increase. And on flow three, we're dealing with global variables. You can see here, again count, and again it's been incremented and you can see the result here and the most drastic deploy you can do is obviously a full deploy which deploys everything in the in the workspace and if I do a full deploy you can see global is 15 it was 14 uh, it fires the inject node but it doesn't reset the global variable it will fire the inject node on here, but it doesn't reset the flow variable. So flow variables and global variables aren't affected when you do a deploy. And it doesn't matter what kind of deploy you do. If I restart the flows, you can see the flow variable is still there, and you can see the global variable is still there. Just to summarize what we've covered, if you do a full deploy or restart flows deploy or a modified flows deploy, then the inject node does get fired on, on the flow, but the flow or global variables aren't reset. Now, if you want to reset or you need to reset the flow or global variables, you need to add your own reset function or you have to restart node red. Now, depending on the deploy you do, other flows in the workspace will continue to run as normal. Now, the two safe options are modified nodes and modified flows. They will only affect the particular nodes you've modified or the particular flow you've modified. So usually they're quite safe and they won't affect other flows in, in the workspace. If you do a full deploy, then it affects all nodes, sorry, all flows in the workspace. If you do a restart flows, it will restart all flows in the workspace, all deployed flows in the workspace. Now remember, when you do a de deploy, uh, you need to select or you need to check uh, on the deploy option you're doing before you actually click on, click on the button. Okay, that brings us to the end of the video. If you've got comments on the video, then please leave them below. If you like the video, then you can click on the like button below. And if you want to get notified of new videos on the channel, then you can always subscribe. And feel free to sh share the video on social media if you use social media. And there's a quick link to the, the main website. Until next time, goodbye.